Okay. Hi. Hey guys. Little Luna here. Uh, as you can tell, I just got out of the shower. Um, and it seemed like a perfect time for a life vlog. Um, I look like garbage, because I feel like garbage. Um, oh, this is my first life vlog update, because um, this is the first day something, you know, substantial and noteworthy has happened. Um, so, about a year ago, I was driving a piece of shit car. I was a salesperson, so I wanted something nicer. And so I was looking at options and I'm terrible at saving money, so I was looking at financial options. There's this program here called Canada Drives. They're supposed to help you build your credit. And what they told me was that I could get a car and I could have that car for a year. And at the end of the year, I could either keep the car at a reduced payment rate, upgrade to a better car for the same rate, or return the car and be debt free. Well, it's coming up on a year, so I contacted them. And since I'm going to school in January, I said, I would really like to return the car because I've still got the piece of shit car. <laughs> and they said I'd have to contact the bank and ask to surrender the vehicle. And so I'm confused because that's not what I was told originally. And of course, being spontaneous Luna, I didn't really take a look at any of the information that was given to me or anything because I was like, I'm only going to have the car for a year, so I'm going to return it. And <sighs> so anyways, I call the bank and I give them my information and they say, well, no, Surrendering the vehicle will terribly ding your credit. And you can't even do that without taking these steps first. The steps that I can take are uh, work at refinancing it, which isn't really an option because, again, going back to school in January, I'm not going to have a job for a vehicle loan. The other option is a private dealer selling it or try and give it to a dealer. Selling it through a dealer, I don't know. Which is really the main option. Um, but of course, with it being a newer car, um, when I got it last year in 2019, it's a, a 2018 Mazda 3. So it was a pretty brand new car. So I asked her what numbers I'm looking at. If I were to, even if I were to keep the car, what numbers am I looking at? How long am I even roped into this thing? I've got the payments at $500 a month until 2026. And the loan itself is $28,000 if I were to pay it out right this minute. I don't even know what my interest rate is. I didn't ask. I mean, I could probably figure it out if I were to do 500 times however many payments that is until 2026. So I'm in a really shitty position right now. Um, and I wanted to do a life vlog uh, to warn people out there that are in weird situations and something that seems really awesome comes along. Because this, this seemed like it was perfect. It's helping you build your credit. It is no long-term commitment. You just have to have the vehicle for a year. You just have to hold on to it for one year and then you can be debt-free again. But that's not the case. And it's really shitty. I was expecting a couple of hoops to jump through because, I mean, nobody ever wants you to end a contract. But I wasn't expecting for it to be not possible. For it to be that they completely lied to me up front. The bank, however, is fantastic. Um, the lady on the phone, I'm so sorry, I did not catch her name, was 
fantastic. She gave me so much information. She was so kind. Awesome, awesome person. Totally understanding. As soon as I explained what my situation was, she didn't even go back to, like, refinancing or anything like that or trying to talk about anything besides what my real options were, which is basically selling the vehicle privately. And I I don't even know, like, I'm not going to be able to get back the $28,000 for it because that's not realistic. After doing research, they're selling for anywhere from fourteen to twenty thousand. Um, so I don't know what's gonna happen after that. Yeah, yeah. So that's um, that's kind of where my head's at right now. Um, oh, I, I really want to stress about making sure to nail out the details on things like this. Like I've already said, it seemed like such a perfect opportunity. So don't buy through Canada Drives. I guess that's really all I have to say about it. Um, it's just really kind of shitty. I hope everybody else is having a fantabulous day, a fantabulous week, and a fantabulous life. Um, make good choices. Bye.